What's going on, guys? Um, just going to give you a little review of my new Ryobi 18 volt cordless 7 and 1 fourth miter saw with laser. Um, I have a uh, 12 inch miter saw. Um, it works awesome. It's a GMC. I believe that would cool. Let's take a look real quick. It is a... I got this like seven, eight years ago. Still taking a hell of a beating. I got it off of Amazon. Yeah, GMC. Yeah, so this is my old one. It's a big boy. This thing is heavy as shit. This thing probably weighs around 50 pounds. I got another blade for it right there. I haven't even had to use that. This blade is still going. It's going to have to get replaced soon, but anyway, I needed something that's a little light. Now, this thing is 17 pounds. Sorry about this. Ugh. 17 pounds, um, you know, I, it says you can cut, you know, two by four, stuff like that, but I heard that people cut bigger stuff with it, I mean, you just got to kind of work it through, um, I'm going to open it up, um, I'm going to try to do a cut for you, if that's possible, um, I'm recording with my phone here, so... Can't make any promises on that, but um, yeah, this was ninety nine dollars. I got a kit. Actually, it was one hundred thirty nine dollars. Comes with a charger and a battery. Let me try to put this in. Hold up. Uh, it's still dark. I'm sorry about the light in here. I gotta really do something with this lighting in here. I might have to get the Ryobi uh, light because I don't have enough light in this garage. But I hope you can see it. But this is the battery that comes with it. This is what I'm not happy with. So I'm debating on uh, bringing this back. I got this at Home Depot. Um, this is pretty pretty much a two amp hour battery. And it's pretty much the size and weight of their 4 amp battery. So I'm thinking about switching it out. Because it's the same price for some reason. Which I have no idea why. But it's the same price as the uh, 4 amp hour battery. So I'm going to see what magic I can do with uh, switching that battery. But um, this is what you get. 139. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to try to do a cut for you, but let me open it and I'll get back to you. Hold on. All right, so I think I got a little bit better light here, but uh, not much. But um, you obviously get the operator's manual right here. Um, comes packed pretty good here. Here's the bag for all the dust and wood chips and there's some other knickknacks but here it is pretty much oh, I can't believe how light this is when I got the box I was like my god this thing is so light like, yeah, 17 pounds. I mean, 50 to 17. Man, that is awesome. So, hold on. Let me just put this. Uh, 
Sorry about that. And the lighting in here is just terrible. Oh, I'm so sorry about this, guys. Oh, voila. There we go. This is... It's packed pretty damn good. And I got this stuff everywhere. But, um... Yeah, this is it. You put this right on here. And you're cooking. Um, this is where the battery goes. You can put any battery you want in there. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on this thing cooking because uh, the lighting in here stinks. And this video is not really uh, going that great with the lighting. So, but... Here is the main side of it, right there, and it works pretty much like any other miter saw. Um, right now, it's at an angle, which is pretty cool. Yeah, this cuts at many different angles. Um, you know, cuts up to two by four, built-in nine-inch ball detent that stops on. Stops at most common miter cutting angles. 24 tooth carbonite tipped blade comes with this also. And it's, a, it's an adjustable bevel from 0 to 45 degrees. So, um, you know, it can get the job done, you know. It's not, you know, you're not going to be cutting, you know, pressure treated, you know. 10 by 2s, 2 by 10s, whatever, stuff like that. But, I mean, you'll be able to cut, you know, most of the stuff. You know, good for, like, trimming, you know, crown molding, stuff like that. But I'm sure you can get a little bit more out of it. The specs say, you know, 2 by 4s and stuff like that. But um, I'll see what I can do, and I'll do a little video on it and uh, how it works. You'll see me cutting some different types of wood here shortly. All right. I'll catch you on the next one.